Previously on The Bill. Marie, would you marry me? <coughs> this is Jim Carver. Please leave me a message and I'll get right back to you. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Properly. This place is a refuge. We can't go in there, it'll be chaos. Well, who are you here for? An Iranian woman. She and her daughter should be on a plane home by now. Okay, look, our inspector's on her way. Well, how long is she going to be? We'll be selling tickets soon. Listen, I've dealt with a refuge manager before. Maybe I should have a word. Someone's got to smooth the way. And I'll tell you what, it ain't going to be me. OK, give us the details. Gemma, I think we should wait for Inspector Gold. No, no, it's fine. I'll have this sorted by the time she gets here. My name is PC Gemma Osborne, Sun Hill. Is Joe Hobson there, please? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hiya, Joe. Listen, come down to the front door and we can talk about this. I've got nothing to say. Well, I'm only going to have to come up to you. Juicy. City lawyer got a kick in outside some bar last night. Perfect. After that wrong Gregory mess, you need results, Phil. Sort a few more like this, you'll soon be back in favour. Oh, no. Hey. Eva. Welcome back. Thanks, Gav. How's Joanna? Um, get in there. Is she back at school yet? Yeah, first day today. I don't know who was more nervous. I bet you don't let her out of your sight. Yeah. I'll tell you what, she's not going anywhere near derelict buildings, that is for sure. I'd have gone out of my mind. Still can't believe that I got her home alive. Convinced myself I'll never see her again. So, what we got? Check this. Very nasty. You haven't seen this, Giza? Give her a chance to get her coat off. No, I'm all right, Gov. I'd, I'd rather get stuck in. It's good to have you back, Eva. Come on in, let's go. Yeah. Oh, hold on. That's good. Fat lot of you, she girls. Where's this about to go? She's stuck in a meeting. She'll be here as soon as she can. Oh. It's okay, we'll just have to wait it out. Oh yeah, you two go and do your nails. We've got all day. Gemma! Gemma, come on, we don't need this hassle. I wouldn't be here if I couldn't hack it. I could kill that Adele, you know. You've never been the same since you got mixed up with her. Change the record, Kerry. And I'm convinced it was her ex who assaulted you. Will you stop going on at me. What? Come on, Joe, open the door. Come on, we can't talk through it. Can we come in, please? Yeah, you get rid of those monkeys and I'll think about it. Oi, get back in your van and don't bridge until we tell you. Okay. Is Mrs. Zeban Nesha and her daughter here? You know they are. Immigration have a warrant to search and a detention order. Oh, those thugs were bashing on the door first thing. The kids have been screaming a place down. Mrs. Neshat should have attended a meeting at immigration last week. Yeah. And I phoned around the airlines and found out that she and Nikki are booked on a flight back to Tehran. Well, of course they were. She's been refused permission to stay. Zeba's not going anywhere. End of story. June will have a fit when she walks in here. I cannot believe Danny's left it in that state. Oh, no, I think you got a bit preoccupied with the Nathan Morley shoes. Oh, yeah, I know, that was very tragic. But Danny was left in charge here. I mean, this is his priority. It'd be good to see June again, though, won't it? You looking forward to seeing her? Yeah, of course. Um, I'm off to court this morning with Marie Graham at the pre-trial hearing. She doesn't have to go to that, does she? She wants to be at every stage for Sonia. Oh, it must take some guts to face your daughter's murderer. 
I think she's ready for it. Sorry to hear about you two splitting up. Oh, Tony mentioned it. Sorry, is it a secret? No, 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 it's, it's all right. Uh, see you later. Jim, you set a date yet? Who told you? Nobody. Your aura says it all. Well, actually, honey, Maria and I would like to keep the engagement quiet for now. <laughs> you have chop around here. Yeah, well, we'd rather get used to it ourselves. You know how it is. Well, as soon as you're ready, give us the nod. We'll all want to celebrate. We are entertaining clients at the E1 bar. It's more like our local these days. Very select. Well, it's a great place to do business. Clients love it. So what time did you arrive? Uh, round one. And what time were you assaulted? About ten. Long lunch. Mm. Can you give me some of the names of the people you were with? It's not relevant. We'll have to get witness statements then. No one saw what happened. It was a private quarrel. So, you knew the woman? Oh, yeah. What <laughs> didn't I say? <sighs> she works in my team. Well, I can't complete the contract until it arrives. No, buy it now. Yep, the original plus two copies. Buy. Kim Bradbury, DS Phil Hunter, this is DC Eva Sharp, Sun Hill. Were you in the E1 bar yesterday? I was. Well, Robert Fenn alleges that you assaulted him. Well, he's lying. Look, is there somewhere more private we can go on and continue? I haven't got time now. Well, I think you'd better make some time. Tony was kindness itself at my boyfriend's funeral. He's such a lovely man. Who is? <laughs> Tony. Hello, Lillian. What are you down for? Until Cass's flat's cleared. I hope you're not doing that on your own. My husband wasn't well enough to travel. I don't mind. I'd rather be on my own. Now, listen. If you have any problems, any problems at all, you give me a ring, yeah? Are you sure? Absolutely. And come and see us before you go back to the bed. Thanks a lot, Tony. That means a lot to me. And don't worry about these books. I'll sort these out. Cheers. Bye. Any problems, give us a call, eh? What? She's a married woman. Is that it? Can't have lasted more than five minutes. The judge was making sure that everything's in order before the beginning of the trial. I've never faced all this without you, Jim. Let me take you home. <laughs> <clears throat> I bet everyone at work thinks you're mad getting hitched to me. Don't be silly. What did they say, then? Well, I haven't exactly had a chance to tell him yet. Not even June. She's back from holiday today. I'll tell her later. The decision's been made. The decision's unjust. I don't think we're achieving anything here. You said it. Come on, Gemma. Let's go outside and wait for Inspector Gold to arrive. Excuse me. Come away, please. Excuse me. Any joy? Nope. Oh, useless to a lot of you. Let me see Mrs. Nesher. No way. She's terrified enough as it is. Just... just let me talk to her. Maybe I can help her, reassure her. 249 from 202. What are you doing, Gemma? Come on, Joe. See sense This isn't fair on all these other women. No, we're all behind Zeba. They're gonna storm in here and remove her by force. Is that what you want? No. No, of course not. Well, then let her walk away with some dignity. Yeah. No. Please. Zeba. Go back look, to your room. Zeba, look, Zeba, my name is PC Jones. Okay, I'm here to help. You have it your way. I've got no choice. I'm gonna have to let him in.
love to go on a cruise. What was it like? You know, it was almost too relaxing. I can't wait to get busy again. You look really well, Jim. Thanks. There wasn't a holiday romance included in the package, was there? No, no, nothing like that. Oh, Jim will be relieved. Really? Mm. He's only saying this morning. Oh, he's looking forward to seeing you. You know what? We've been hanging around here all morning. Aye, right, in my time, not yours. Mum, no, Gemma and I went inside to speak to the manager. I came out, but for some reason, Gemma held back. Has she made contact since? What? She's not answering her radio. You were instructed to wait for me. No. Oi, right, you go and make yourself useful. Shut it! Oh, oh this is choice, this is. Two, four, nine, and zero. Sarah Oscar 1 from 249. I'm okay, Mum. Come out, 249, and I'll send immigration in. No, Mum, please, don't do that. I've got everything under control. Mrs. Najat's gonna come out of her own accord. When? Just give me ten minutes. Why did you lie? Because I want to sort this out. Now, you're gonna let me speak to Zeba, and we're gonna resolve this peacefully. You don't know what zeba has been through. Your mates are gonna have to tear this place apart before she comes out voluntarily. They will. Thanks for your help. Thank you. Well, Ms. Bradbury ain't got too many mates around here. Evil jealousy's a terrible thing. Jealousy? Yeah, well, she's gorgeous, and she's telling it. Cutthroat slave driver is what I heard. And they all reckon she ain't got no time for Robert. Hmm. Hello again, Kim. We've got witness statements from your colleagues now. And? And I think we should continue this conversation down at Sun Hill. No, let's give her a bit more space. How's she coping back at work? OK. She's got over the assault, though. No, I don't think she has, no. Why didn't she want the assault investigated? She doesn't want everyone to know. She wouldn't even tell me the details. Are we going in or what? When I say so. Zeba can't go to the detention centre. I am sure that she and her daughter will be looked after. But it's not a holiday camp, you know. They'll be locked up like animals. People attempt suicide there all the time. If they're not trying to hang themselves, they're swallowing bleach. Joe, why do you care so much? You're risking the whole future of the refuge with this. I persuaded Zeba to trust this system, and the system's failed. So if I don't fight for her, who will? I'm sure that Zeba has had plenty of opportunity to present a case. When Zeba applied for asylum, she could hardly tell immigration what day it was, let alone present a case. She'd had to snatch Nikki from her husband's family. She'd had to sell everything just to get here. Yeah, well, I'm sure they've all got some kind of sob story. Zeba can't go back to Iran. She doesn't have a choice. Gemma. <laughs> Returnees. They don't even make it out of Tehran airport before being arrested. She's already been in prison once. Well, the Home Office obviously doesn't think that she's going to be in any danger. All the Home Office care about is meeting targets and keeping the tabloids quiet. Zeba is one of thousands of people wanting to live here. They can't all get in. Oh. Well, you really think that people give up everything? They abandon their homes and their families just to come here and live on handouts? Zeba was raped and tortured in prison just for writing that women should be free to divorce their violent husbands. When she arrived here, she was so traumatised she could hardly speak. 
and she was forced to reel off her details to a bunch of officials only to be told she was lying. Just let me talk to her. Joe, let the woman speak for herself. This witness seems to be Sergeant Murphy's husband, Patrick. Now, he was driving his black cab by the park at the time and he reckons he picked the attacker up. Wow. Well, long blue coat's pretty distinctive. Yeah, well, we made this from Patrick and the first victim statement. Right. Well, let's go door to door around Sacriston Park. The chances are that he either lives and works in the area. Good time, Sarge. Yeah, yeah, it was wonderful, thanks. You seem really pleased to see you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jim! Just a minute. Listen, mate. I just wanted to say thank you for everything you did when Joanna went missing. Well, I didn't do a lot. No, we would not have got through without you. Really? Yeah. Even when everything got all crazy, you were always there, quietly supporting. I appreciate that. Thank you. Eva, now's not the time for gossiping. I'll catch you later, all right? Miss Bradbury, you've chosen not to have a solicitor present, but you're free to change your mind at any point during the interview. I won't. Fair enough. Do you want to tell us what happened at the E1 yesterday? I arrived at the bar at seven. Robert and some of the others in the team had been entertaining clients from Pelosi Construction since lunchtime. Any reason for joining them late? I wasn't invited to the lunch. It was a boys' thing. The uh, inner circle. How did you feel about that? I'm used to it. But I've done more work for Pelosi than anyone else this year, bailing them out time and time again. I wasn't going to be pushed out altogether. Robert busts in enough of my glory. Are you the only woman on the team? No, but I am the most senior and the only one that had bravey won. Hmm. How did Mr Fenn feel about you turning up? I can hardly speak for him now, can I? Oh, come on, you must have sensed an atmosphere. Well, they were all drunk and looking very pleased with themselves. Right, so you arrived at the bar at 7pm. Then what happened? I had a few drinks, tried to discuss business, but no one was making much sense, so I went home. At what time? Tennis. But Mr Fenn says that you attacked him outside the bar at around 10. Mr Fenn alleges that I attacked him. It's his word against mine. We have CCTV footage from outside the bar. Perhaps you could tell me if you recognise this woman. Ziba, this is Gemma. Ziba, hi. I'm sorry about all the activity outside. It must be very overwhelming. I've been expecting it. Ever since we were refused, I've been expecting it. The immigration team are here to take you and your daughter to the detention centre. Now, if you were to leave peacefully, then obviously that would be a lot easier. For you? No, for you and your daughter. This must be distressing enough without it becoming a fight. It's already a fight. I was sorry to hear about your time in prison. I told Gemma because I thought it would help her understand. Once you get to the detention centre, your solicitor can still lodge a further appeal. She's given up hope. Can you imagine what memories you lot are stirring up? Ziba, listen, I know that you must be terrified, but you must go now. If you don't, it's only going to get worse later. 249, are you receiving? Go ahead, Mum. 249, we're coming in. No, Mum, there's no need for you to do that. I'm with Mrs Nachette now and she's going to come out. Are you all right to continue? Yep. 
interview restarted at 09.50 hours. Still present are Kim Bradbury, DS Hunter and DC Sharp. Kim, you've now seen the E1 CCTV footage. Is there anything you'd like to add or amend from your earlier interview? Yes. I assaulted Robert Fenn in self-defence. Could you elaborate? At around 10 o'clock, Robert was trying to get me drunk. Everyone thought it was hilarious, but I'd had enough, so I walked out. Robert followed, insisting that I stayed. He said I was spoiling the party and disappointing the clients. But by that time, I didn't care, so I carried on. So Robert pulled me back and indecently assaulted me. He said I had to know my place. My whole career is at stake here. I'll never work again if I'm charged with this. I know it's difficult, but could you explain exactly what you mean by indecent assault? Robert stuck his hand up my skirt and grabbed my groin. Is that clear enough? Where were you when this took place? In the doorway of the bar. Well, surely you've got tapes of that as well. We'll look into it. Were there any witnesses? I don't know. I was in too much of a state to notice. What happened after he assaulted you? I pushed Robert off and tried to get away, but he came outside after me. Look, I know I lost it, but I just had to get him off me. Why didn't you tell us any of this before? I thought for the good of the firm, the whole episode was best forgotten. Robert obviously doesn't think so. Robert's just upping the stakes by getting me arrested. He can play all he likes. I don't intend to lose. See, but please, we're running out of time. Stay where you are. Trust me. She's agreeing to go. She's beaten. I'm not. 249, we're coming in. Repeat, we're coming in. Tony Cameron, round the back. The rest of you with me. She's terrified. She needs Zeba, you. go! Leave, Nikki. She'll be all right. Get that woman out of here! Z no, Ziba. Go, Ziba. Please, come back. I can't. Mama! Mama! Run! Hold Mama. it, Tony. Hold Mama. it. School's going well. I miss you too. Bye. Sorry, it's just so weird having been around Joanna every minute of the day and now not seeing her at all. So what'd you make of Robert? Well, he's a tosser, isn't he? Mind you, that Kim ain't much more appealing. I wouldn't say that. Well, I reckon she's just made up this whole sexual assault thing just to save herself. Well, go on, go and find out. What, by myself? You've only got to take a statement and collect the security tapes. Oh, come on, you can't be that out of practice. Where are you going? I'm going up to an all-night cafe, all right? They might have seen something the CCTV footage didn't. You got a problem? Gemma, I think you should go home. You look terrible. No, no, I'm fine. Gemma, you all right? Yeah, fine, Mum. We have procedure for a reason. 
You were told to wait for me and you should not have stayed in there on your own. I'm sorry, Mum. I thought I could sort him. Kerry, you get to the hospital. Gemma, back to the station. Well, can't I go to the hospital? No. Well, I just want to check that Mrs. Nagel's all right. Tough. Tony Stamp. <laughs> Lillian. Did your bag snatch? No, you stay. I'll be right there. One of the security boys found Mr. Fenn on the ground. Blood everywhere. Not nice. Did anyone see the attack? Can I get you a drink? No, I'm on duty. I could whip you up a coffee. No, you're all right. I thought you'd picked up one of Mr. Fenn's colleagues for the attack. You've spoken to him? No, uh, the mate of Roberts came to collect his briefcase. He told me. We're still trying to establish exactly what happened. If it's the woman I'm thinking of, she was a right surly cow. I tried having a word, but she wasn't having it. The woman claims Robert tried to get her drunk. <laughs> he was probably trying to lighten her up. It's a bar. You're meant to enjoy yourself. Yeah. We understand Robert and the woman had some sort of argument at the entrance just before she attacked him. Mind of it. I don't know. Well, CCTV must have recorded what happened. Feel free to look at the tapes. Thank you. Yeah, number 84, the assistant said. And she seemed pretty sure that this is him. Yeah. Well, it is very close to where Patrick Murphy picked him up. Mm. Oh, go on, Sarge, tell us. Did you miss Jim while you was away? I missed all of you. Yeah, but you and Jim make such a good couple. I really wish you'd just get back together. Yeah. It's up to him, isn't it? Is that what you want? I don't know. I had a lot of time to think when I was away. Maybe I was a bit hasty letting him go. Mr. Saunders, Sergeant Ackland, PC Page from Sun Hill. What do you want? We'd just like to ask you a few questions about a couple of sexual assaults that took place in Sacriston Park. It wasn't me. Oh, well, you've nothing to worry about then, sir. We only want to ask you some questions to eliminate you from our inquiries. You never know. You may have seen something that could help us. Would you come down to Sun Hill then, please, sir? Is that your coat, Mr. Saunders? Thanks, mate. He said it'd cost 60. I told him 40. <laughs> it's like a different country down here. I don't know the price of anything. I can't believe I was so stupid. Come on. That to anyone. I know. Cup of tea. Oh, go on. Go ahead, honey. 9A Faith Street, report of a domestic. Informant is the next door neighbour, Mrs. Khan. Free to deal, Tony. The on way. Sorry. Don't be silly, you're on duty. Look, I finished shift at two. Why don't I come back here later and give you a hand with this? You've done enough, Tony. No, no, I'll be happy to help. <laughs> right, all done. No witnesses on Kim's alleged sexual assault and nothing on the bar CCTV. You did check properly? Of course I did. The bar manager reckons Kim was a misery all night. Yeah, well, it's all boys together, innit? You would think that. One sight of a pretty woman, and you believe every word she says. Joe! Yeah, well, at least I'm 100% on duty. Yeah, I'm, I'm busy, darling. Did you go out at all the evening before last? I went to visit my auntie. From your flat by the park? What time did you leave? About 11 o'clock. So how did you get there? Taxi. A bit late, wasn't it? She'd fallen over. I wanted to make sure she was OK. Well, where did you get the cab from? The other side of the park. He... He, he just dropped off a fare. Trevor, a man fitting your description, wearing a long blue coat exactly like yours, attacked a girl in the park at about 11 o'clock that night. No, 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 it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Gemma, what are you doing here? Inspector Gold will kill you. How was Zebra and Nikki doing? They're in shock, mainly, but the little girl's bruised her head, so she's being kept in for further tests. So they're not going to remove her centre? 
Mrs. Neshat will be sent on as soon as she's fit to travel. Does she know that they're going to be separated? No. See you, Hi. Where is Nikki? I need to see her. I don't know what I was thinking going onto the roof. Leaving her. Do we have to go now? You do. Nikki will be sent as soon as she's well enough to travel. You mean... separated? It won't be for long. <gasps> this is punishment. No, no, see, but you mustn't think of it like that. Oh, I can't leave her. Gemma, please, for your own sake, I think you should go now. You've wound up Inspector Gold enough. So Kim says that she stormed out, you followed her and then indecently assaulted her. <laughs> is she making a complaint against me? Yeah. Sorry. Trevor is more than likely the man that Patrick Murphy picked up and he's admitted to taking a cab from the park. And he's the proud owner of a long blue coat. Yes. Well, let's hope forensics find DNA or contact fibres on it. Well, we'll have to do an ID parade, see if any of the victims can identify Trevor. Well, only one of them saw him and she's refused to cooperate. Oh, in that case, we have to put him back out on the streets. Well, and hope he doesn't strike again. Well, come on, what choice have we got? Bail him and go back over the other witness statements. You know, Trevor may have got into Patrick's cab, but that doesn't prove that he's guilty. How are you getting on? Never better. No. OK. Two, six, Arch. Just... Joanna, look, I'm sorry I have a chance to call you back. I'm just done. What's up? They said what? Well, look, just ignore them. They're just trying to be smart. Have you told your teacher? Eva, what's your plan now? Look, look, Joanna, ring Dad, yeah? No, I can't come, darling. I'll... Look, just try and stick it out until the end of the day. I'll... I'll pick you up then. Have you got a minute, Mark? No. I was with Lily and Rick earlier. How oh, nice for you. Only it, uh, it got me thinking. You know that there's prison up the front entrance? Well, I wonder if we could plant a tree or something for Cash. Well, the officer that died in the fire, they're getting a plaque, but, well, Cash is not getting anything. Well, take it up to the super. And, um, have you seen Gemma anywhere? Not since the refuse, no. Thank you. Well, there's always the Caribbean. Ceremony for two. On the beach. Well, if you prefer the town hall, that's up to you. You too. Catch you later. Bye. How do you get on with that sexual assault? Well, we're sure it's him. But we've got to bail him. That's reality, eh? Yeah. I mean, if it is him, I can't bear the thought that I've let him back out there. Anyway, how have you been? Oh, you know, uh, busy. I hear you're in court with Marie Graham this morning. I've been thinking, June, uh, maybe we should go out for a drink later. Uh, catch up properly. Yeah, I'd like that. I have to tell you, Kim, we can't find any evidence to support your complaint against Mr Fenn. So you're not pursuing it? Not at this point, no. Perfect. There's nothing on the bar CCTV and we can't find any witnesses. So, if there's anything you'd like to... To... I'm sorry, I've, I've just lost my thread. If there's anything you'd like to change from your first interview. I attacked Robert Fenn in self-defence. That's all I have to say. You've heard of the expression reasonable force. Well, Robert sustained pretty serious injuries during your uh, altercation and there's not a mark on you. He likes to use his mind, not his fists. Well, that's not much good to us. And you're not much good at this. What? Well, take the easy route, why don't you? Talk to his underlings at work, his pals in the bar, and get the answers that you obviously want. I don't know what you're on about. There's plenty of whores down that bar that know the truth about Robert and his cronies. But I bet you didn't even bother with them, did you? 
total incompetence. Oi! This is about you. Not me. You jump. Okay. I suggest that we take a break. Have you seen Gemma around anywhere? No, Mum. Did you know Zebra's being sent to the removal centre without Nicky? She can go to Mars for all I care. <laughs> Oi! What do you think you're doing here? She was worried about Zebra, Mum. She wanted to check on her. I ordered you back to the Nick. I just wanted to see the job through, Mum. No, no. I decide what you see through. Did I hear right? Did he ask you out for a drink? Said he wanted to catch up. Mm, I bet he does. Oh. <laughs> Her mind's not on the job. She's never off the blower to her kid. Well, give her a break. It's her first day back. Yeah, well, if she can't hack it, she shouldn't be here. Well, you're her sergeant, so show her some support. Look, I've been giving her tea and sympathy all morning. But well, what has she done with? I mean, has she screwed the case or something? No, no, it's nothing like that. Phil, you have no idea what it's like juggling a family and holding a job down in this place. Yeah, yeah. Can you just think what Eva's been through? All that time Joanna was missing. We're lucky to have her back at all. You know, she makes a few mistakes to start off with. You've made a few serious ones yourself. <laughs> Philip, if you're struggling with this, would you like me to have a word with her? No, I can deal with it. Happy to hear it. I've told the second victim that we've got a suspect, but she still doesn't want to know. Oh, that's a shame. What's the matter, Sarge? You know this drink with Jim? Mm. I think he's planning to propose. What makes you think that? Well, we had this heart to heart before I went away, right? Yeah. And uh, I've just found an engagement ring in his drawer. Oh, let me look at it. Yeah. No, 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 no. I feel bad enough rummaging around there as it is. Do you want to marry him? I don't know. I mean, it's all a bit of a rush, isn't it? Oh, I've probably got the wrong end of the stick. Sarge, the man's got an engagement ring in his drawer. What else can it mean? Now, look, you want him, he wants you. Don't hold back now. <sighs> Any news on Mrs. Nashat? I'm sorry, Mum. I don't know if she got away. We only turned our backs for a second. That's immigration's problem now. Hey, what's going on? Have you come back to work too soon? No. Sit down. You see, you go your own sweet way down at the refuge. You go to the hospital when I expressly tell you not to. What other conclusion can I draw? I don't know, Mum. Sorry. Have you talked to anyone about your assault? No, I just want to forget about it. When I came to see you in the hospital, you said you wanted to resign. And you said that you didn't want me to. Oh, but I've only got so much patience, Gemma. So you'd better buck your ideas up or you'll be out on your ear. Close the door behind you. Where you been? To see my daughter in my lunch break. Yeah, well, perhaps you should take a permanent one. Excuse me? You're hardly fit for CID, are you? But we all know that you've had trouble at home. But if you want to play on my team, get over it. 
Yeah, all right, so I lost it, but only for a moment. Don't give me that. You've had half your mind on your kid all morning. Look, after Ron Gregory, I'm having to prove myself every step of the way, and I can't afford to carry passengers. All right, look, I'll apologise to Kim and make further inquiries down at the bar. Kim's been bailed. And after some serious sweet talking, she's decided not to make a complaint against you. I will go down to the bar in my own time tonight and talk to the barmaids. Don't even dream about it. Sarge, I can sort this. No. You go home and you decide whether you want to be a full-time copper or a full-time mum, because you can't be both. Oh, oh stupid place. Yeah. Tell me about it. Here. Thanks. We should have to breathe the same air as Phil Hunter. Well, you're more than welcome to Gina Gold. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you win. you just got to keep your head down and get on with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. See you later, mate. See you. I thought we'd go down the tavern. You you like it there, don't you? Yeah, good idea. Right. Have a good time. We will. These lots should go to the charity shop, really, but they seem so personal. Oh, are you all right? <laughs> Just about. <laughs> Don't worry if you can't do it, Tony. Let the new owners have the pleasure. I've started, so I'll finish. Shakespeare's sister. Cash used to play them to death when she lived at home. Do you mind if I put it on? No, no, of course not. thinking earlier, how would you feel if we were to plant a tree at the Nick in, in memory of Cass? Obviously, it would have to be approved. That's a lovely thought. Well, hello again, Mr. Finn. <laughs> you still on duty? I'm never <laughs> off. So you're charging, Kim, or what? Yet when we're ready. <laughs> you drag these things out, don't you? Yeah, well, her counter allegation somewhat complicates things. Have a drink. Oh, oh, no. Come join the no, I'm Easy, Mike. Easy. <laughs> Polly, wait up. Can you have your night? Just done a ten till six in CAD. Human hours. Oh, it's such a relief not to have to do shift work anymore. Yeah, I bet Jim feels the same, especially now. How do you mean? Now that he's getting married. But he told you that. Yeah, isn't it lovely? Such a romantic story. Jim and Marie. Don't say I told you, though. Cheers. Who is it? Polly. It might be important. I doubt it very much. Cheers. Cheers. Do you know the best thing about Cass is she always spoke her mind? Not always at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll give you that. She got that from me. Most of mouth my husband always calls me. <laughs> So much for packing. Doesn't matter. Got a whole night yet. It's lovely talking about Cass, you know. 
Yeah. My husband... Well, he's been so ill since... that I, I don't mention her. It's a shame you don't live closer. Get the support of the Nick if you did. I know she left home ages ago, but... it was always the phone. I feel so alone now. thinking a lot about the chat we had before I went away. Yeah, me too. Oh, look. <laughs> I found the ring. I'm so... I can't believe you want us to get married. June. But I'm delighted. And, and you don't have to say anything. The ring's not for you. I've got engaged to Marie Graham. Sonia's mum. We've been seeing each other for a while now. It feels right. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's great. It's great. Congratulations. Next time on the bill. Good luck to her, I say. She'll need it. <laughs> she will. I've not finished with you yet. This is giving you a thrill, isn't it? About time you had one. Sorry. Come out of the closet, Mum. There's so much to see. Get her out of my nick. <laughs>